Hello YouTube. We're back in the shop. Um, we had a disaster on the reactor cell. Um, kind of my fault due to not having materials at the time and laziness, not wanting to go through it. But when I uh, on the uh, the other cell casing, when I went and added the Quick Connect um, cooling fittings for the supply and the return, I cracked the case, and I did manage to get it to patch. It wasn't leaking, and uh, nonetheless, it uh, it didn't hold. So I'm back at the drawing board now. I've had several folks ask how um, I built the cell casing and. Did I have to have somebody do it, or myself? And hey, us, us old country boys figure out how to do stuff on our own the best we can. Anyhow, uh, it's just a quarter inch sidewall. I cut um, four strips out, glued them together, and I've got a bracing system that I use to hold this together while I'm doing it. Um, what I've done this time around was just tape a couple of pieces to 60 grit sandpaper down to what I knew was a really good flat surface and that's this uh, half inch thick acrylic is pretty flat and what I'm going to do is to make sure I get a good seal is just to take this and work it back and forth and it doesn't take that long with this 60 grit and that will get all of the surface all the way around this perfectly flat to where when I take the, um, like the base plate and um, glue it to the bottom, it will be a good tight fit. And I had a few ask me about the flanging system on this. And what I've done this time, I've gone up from 3 8 of an inch thick acrylic. I've, um, I made me a good deal on some half inch thick, so I uh, am using half inch thick on the base the top cap which will hold the cell plate assembly um, in the flange. And the flange I just kind of cut out the um, I left a half inch gap full perimeter and rounded the edges and just kind of cut it out with a um, uh, little saber saw and my Dremel and it will glue on to here and that gives me actual flange fitting that this will be drilled and tapped and that will enable me to set the cell assembly in and to disconnect it and to service the unit etc. So that's pretty much how how I've been doing this um, and I'll be a little more careful when I go to drill and tap my holes and keep you guys posted. Peace.